Oh, I get white pieces again. George Meyer. Ooh, big dog. He's a big guy. Big, big, big player here. All right, let's try it. Let's go with E4. Been a second since I've played this. And I am a bishop d7. Interesting. Very interesting. I, I have I've played this variation quite a bit. I've never had anybody play this. But he's he's coming he's coming after me fast. Okay, hold on. Let's just take a breath. I mean I think I'd take and play bishop d2. I feel like that makes the most sense, honestly. And I almost want to take and play queen d2. It's kind of lame, but I mean I have the center. I think this knight's not as good. And as long as I'm not missing anything, I think it. I think it's better than just leaving the tension. Yeah, I think it's better than leaving the tension because I, I like this end game. If he trades, I think he he won't. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> He's playing it so quickly. Is it fine? Like normally, normally I wouldn't be that concerned. This, this looks fine for me. I'm, Whoa, he wants to go for the end game now with the doubled pawns. Really? I feel like I'm missing it. I feel like my position's just gonna be a little bit more comfortable, is it not? I think I bring my king back over to the side because I really want my king for protecting d4. I think he'll probably play king d7. Um or king e7. I I I don't think there's enough reason for him to, to put his king on g8. I bring my king back and I I don't know. I just feel better in this end game, honestly. Like where where's his knight gonna go? Knight f5 I, I play g4. Goes to e7 f6 f6 he's not gonna take is he trying to casually sneak in f5 and maybe he does want to take i feel like if i play h3 though and prepare g4 take knight takes then i get get g4 in and i'm happy so let's prepare g4 He is going for a4. Interesting. Is there any reason I shouldn't take? He plays. Okay, I'm not fully sure what he's doing. I mean, it could be a knight c6 and he's... No, I'm not positive. Because if he goes for the pawns here, I feel like I just double up. B4, does that change anything? No, because he could, you know, get some of the same ideas, but probably faster. So yeah, I think I just take. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm calling a bluff here. I'm saying you're bluffing. I mean, it's it's a bit annoying because yeah, as I was saying, I feel like all around it's ugh, we're we're kind of all at it. All of our pieces are at a bit of an impasse, but. even be really lame like if he goes for all the trades takes the pawn 95 king d8 i could just play knight c6 take take i hit the pawn and then play rook a6 am i better there am i pushing for a win because he can protect his stuff with his rook and i bring my rook or my king in King d6. King d6, he says. Okay, let's repeat once. Is he okay with the draw? I mean, I agree. King d6 does make sense. Ugh. Bringing his rook. Okay, so let's see. King e3. Rook f1. Yeah, I just... I don't feel like it's there. The problem is, like, it's... This isn't even winning. Like, rook c6 isn't checkmate when the knight moves. Which is part of my... Big part of my hesitation. So let's just secure it. Yeah, complete complete equality. I mean, I can play king f3. Go king g4. Wow. Did I miss it? Or was it just... Ah, oh, g5 right away was the move. Ah. It was. Yeah, I think I underestimated this for hg8. Because... Here, the, 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 the thing that concerned me is not that the h5 exists and then he has pressure there, but knight f5, which became relevant here, rook b1, rook c2. If I could play king g3, I love this position, but I can't knight f5 checkmate. So if I can't do that, then yeah, it's just, that it is what it is. All right, great player though.